Thank you very much. So, with a little bit of assistance from Ant, <laughs> I think we're ready to rock. So, oh, Alison, thank you. I'm surprised that they've survived today's ordeal, to be honest, because I have been lifting boxes, I've been painting doors, I've been doing all kinds, and I'm not even sure quite where everything is. So, you know when you do, um, when you organise your craft room and you then can't find anything um that's kind of the situation that i'm going to be in tonight so because i haven't had any time at all thank you simon hi jane hi anita hello how are you um i have decided to cheat a little bit and this was the only card that actually made it up to the, the new craft room today so that's why i popped that in the picture because i just thought that might be quite something cute for you to look at while i was getting set up so i'll move him out of the way um so this is um something that i've just printed off um and it's a sketch and uh and a little bit of um, I guess a bit of colour inspiration as well. Um, I don't know if that all fits on screen because I zoomed, zoomed in quite a bit, I think, didn't I? That might be a bit better for you. So, um, so yeah, so I've got um, this, uh, this quick sketch and I've got a bit of colour inspiration. And of course, they are mini eggs, a bit like my own nails really and interestingly they are pretty much the same colour as my nails so maybe I was thinking about my nails when I uh, when I actually found this <laughs> so um so yeah so I think I'm going to follow this sketch just from the point of view that um it might make my life a little bit easier uh, because um and I don't normally work with sketches and that's something that um you know, I know a lot of people do, and I and I do like um, that. Uh, you know, that sketches can be really helpful when you're you're not quite sure what you want to do. So, um, so yeah, so I think um, it, this might be quite fun to try um, and help me get into a bit of a crafty mojo because, um, like I say, I've been so busy just doing all sorts of things, trying to get this room ready. That I haven't even thought about making a card today so um, and I really want to and I really also want to make a card that fits with our new challenge so for the first time the first time ever we are holding a challenge um, so which I'm so excited about because like I say we've 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 toyed with doing challenges in the past um, but really not on any any kind of scale um, and I wanted to do it properly so as part of the new um, the new design team um, recruitment that was the word I was looking for part, as part of the new recruitment I have um, recruited the lovely Jane who is watching tonight um, to um, help coordinate the challenges so she's done a fab job in putting these together and our first challenge has the theme of cute critters so um, as Jane is watching if you've got any questions about the challenge um, and about how to enter and um, anything like that then please do um, ask the question and Jane if you'd be able to uh, reply in the comments um, and I'll try and pick that up as well um, because like I said my brain is just dead at the moment <laughs> but um, the challenge will run for the month and there are some great prizes to be won um, money to spend in the time of tea shop but also um, an opportunity to guest design for us so really really cool so let's get on and have a go at this this sketch so this is my sketch um now the thing with sketches is you don't have to take them literally um you can um you know you can adapt them and work with them as you want to so that's what we're going to do today um and i'm going to um use my um my color chart here as a bit of a, a guide so we'll pop that to one side um, just bear with me, I'm just going to grab a quick drink because um, I've literally, <laughs> Ant came home um, 
about 25 past seven um, and made us um, some food really quickly and we've just literally had 10 minutes to eat before we've <laughs> before I've then come up here to chat to you guys so I am a little bit um, whew. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I put that out of the way because uh, I don't want to spill it all over everything. So what should we start with? So I have got, uh, I am thinking that for my background in this sketch here, we've got this, we've got this banner um, here, which doesn't have to be a banner, but I think we could use a banner. And we've also got I'm just looking around me to try and remember where I've kept everything. Um, we've also got this this background here, and this background I'm thinking we we could we could do some ink blending in this background. We've got this bit here, which is our um, our rectangle piece, which um, again we don't have to do it exactly as that. Um, but it does work well with the banner piece. So let me have a look at my dies here. Um, okay. So we've got our rectangle dies, which are going to be really helpful in this instance. I've also got the um, It's Your Day banner, which I didn't use last week and I really wanted to, so I'm going to use that. Um, and then uh, I have done a little bit of organising of some of my stencils because I'd quite like to stencil a nice background using that, um, that colour scheme that we've just seen. So what would be a good stencil do we think for that? Apologies that you guys can't see me at the moment while I'm just ferreting through my um, through my stencils here. But like I say, at the moment I still don't quite know where everything is. So we've got some triangles that would be quite cool. And I've also got the beehive. Oh, that's quite a cute one, isn't it? But that's not going to go with our... And I've also got the Scattered Hearts, which is a really good one. And I feel like the Scattered Hearts might be a nice one to do in some different colours here. Um, it is a From the Heart sketch. Uh, yes, so I don't want to, um, to steal anybody's um, thunder here. Um, I did pull this off Pinterest. Um, and you're getting some glare from my light, so I'll move that. Um, it's um, our, our from the heart stamps inspiration from the heart stamps dot com community and I heart sketches. Um, so there you go. Um, so yeah, sorry, I, I forgot to mention that, but shout out to them because I did get that from Pinterest. Um, so uh, and we, I, you know, it's right that we give credit to people where it is due. So the theme of the um, the uh, the challenge, like I mentioned, um, oh, thank you, um, uh, is cute critters. Now, we're spoilt for choice for cute critters, really, aren't we, um, at Time for Tea? So I don't think I'm gonna struggle um, finding a cute critter. But does anybody have any um, preferences for cute critters um, for our little um, our little sketch challenge here? I feel like I've not really used the um, Happy Mail guys for a while. They might be quite cute to to use. Um, they're a good a good choice, aren't they? So maybe. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good idea because we don't have to do it in exactly the same way. We could actually do this landscape, and I'm thinking that maybe one of the cute critters would be good. Uh, cute critters. I mean, the happy male critters would be cute. 
um, and they would go quite nicely with our um, colour scheme. Yes, I think I'm going to go with those. So, we've got our Happy Mail Critters. The raccoon, yes, that's the one I was going to go for, the raccoon. So I'm going to do the raccoon and I might do him posting his letter um, in the little, um, uh, what's it, mailbox. Right, let's have a go. Let's make a start. So I've got all my bits. I've got my sketch. To pop my sketch to one side so that I've got that to refer to. Um, and I need a card base. Now, this is where I'm going to come, come loose. No, no, it's fine. They're behind me. I thought I was going to have a bit of a bit of an issue there. <laughs> um, so we've got a card base, so that's a start. I'm doing a sketch card today, Annalisa, yes, because I have been frantically um working on this new craft space that we're working that I'm working in now. And um, it's taken me all day, so I literally haven't had chance to um, even think about a card, um, which is a shame because um, I do love, you know, obviously the process. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just don't have time, do you? So I need a bit of cardstock, so I'm hoping that behind me. I have a nice piece of cardstock waiting. I can hear someone creeping up the stairs. Hello there. Oh, I have. Oh, it's there. Sorry. Can you? Are you able hey, to? Hey, everyone. <laughs> Ant is here. He's going to um, feed me with some uh, tea. Feed you with tea. Feed me with tea. Um, so, sorry that I'm leaning across you um, at the moment. That is very, very poor. But, um, like I say, I am just working out where my, um, where, all, where all my things need to be. And they really don't need to be in front of me like this so that I'm having to lean across. <laughs> Um, he's run off again, Lonan. He's gone, but um, I will tell him that you said hi. Um, so I'm going to chop this down. So I'm going to grab my um, Tim Holtz um, paper trimmer. Now I do have some um, Time for Tea cardstock that has just um, been delivered, um, and um, it's. And it's already cut to a six size, which I'm really excited about because I love making a six size cards, as you know. And um, it will really make the process of um, just starting my stamping and, um, and everything just so much easier because it will already be pre-cut. So, um, so yeah, so do look out for that. Um, I just haven't had the chance to, <laughs> to do anything with that. It was delivered to me yesterday, but uh, it's still in the box. <laughs> so, um, I've got my four pieces of cardstock. One I'm going to use for my image. One I'm going to use for the centerpiece. One I'm probably going to use, um, I might use for the banner, I don't know yet. And then this one I'm going to use for my background. So um, I'm going to get out my silicone mat. Oh, thank you guys. Whoever's listing the products for me, you're a star. Um, so I need a little bit of a baby wipe here just to clean my mat because I didn't get around to cleaning it last time and I'm just going to move this down because I can see that I'm not quite in shot there. So just getting used to the new configuration of everything. <laughs> Where everything is. Um, I'll just have it just there please. What have you got on your arm? You've got a black mark on yeah. you. Have you been... Somebody decided to test if a marker works by 
Oh, drawing, drawing on, on you. Yeah. Nice. Is that the only light that you need? I think so. Wow. Mm. It seems quite bright, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, we, yeah, we've, we're testing different lighting situations as well. Um, so, I have got um, a new light in the centre of the room, which is above my head pretty much now. And it is very bright. It's a daylight light, and I can change the temperature of it and um, so on. So, it's very cool. Um, so it means that I hopefully don't need any other form of light in here, which is pretty awesome. So now I've got my um, my my silicon mat. Um, so um, Annalisa, you're going into lockdown again. Um, wow, just in time for your birthday on Monday. A wee bit pure as this is your second lockdown birthday. Have not been out to dinner in over a year and wanted to for your birthday? And yes, you're having a pity party. Well, I think you you deserve to. That's that's pretty poor. I mean, we're lucky that we we seem to be coming out of lockdown, but I don't you know, speak too soon because you just never know, do you? So I've got the Scattered Heart stencil and I know this is currently out of stock, but don't despair because we I have put an order in for some more of these. So these will be back in stock really soon. Um, so please do, uh, look out for that. And once it's back in stock, I will of course let you guys know. Um, so colours then for this, um, I'm thinking that the um, Kitsch Flamingo is a good shout on this one and I'm going to do a little bit of a rainbow in the background so I thought that might look quite pretty. Um, so we've got, it also, it could almost, if we look, I'll just show you the colours that I'm looking at here. This could almost be a bit speckled egg like couldn't it this to me is a little bit of um, maybe abandoned coral um so let's try an abandoned coral Got some kitsch flamingo a bit of a speckled egg sorry I, everything's quite on top of me at the moment so i do need to do we need to put some shelving up we haven't got round to doing that yet and then this is a really nice um, warm yellow, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to say that that might be more of a scattered straw. And then um, with the, uh, maybe with a bit of um, squeezed lemonade, but almost a twisted citron perhaps would look quite good. So I know it's not exactly the right colours, but... I'm gonna go with it I think so and we'll do a little bit of like I say a bit of a rainbow kind of a feel um, and I think I'm gonna start with um, let's do the start with the blue um, speckled eggy color <laughs> um, at the um, at the bottom I think no at the top we'll start with that at the top <laughs> Um, some lovely colours here, aren't there? So, I'm going to use my um, my blue brush um, and I'm just going to work this. Um, now, I've got to get one, two, three, four, five colours in. So, in the middle is probably where my pink's going to be. So, just to give myself enough room to add all of these colours. Um, and I do love this speckled egg, it's so pretty. And what would be nice, I think, with this um, particular uh, um, stencil, would be to um, possibly add um, some texture paste, so maybe a bit of a sparkly texture paste would be nice. Um, that would be quite pretty, I think. So this is going to mix in with that speckled egg. 
and make it um, a little bit purpley which I think is nice and then like I say in the middle we're going to have some of the kitsch flamingo and I'm just holding this down with my fingers because um, I'm a bit being a bit lazy here um, but what you might want to do is stick this down with a bit of masking tape I think hello everyone yes some paste some texture paste or some um, glitter paste and um, I think I had some I, I do have some um, some whereabouts now I feel like that might have I might have wanted that to be a little bit redder in color but I'm gonna just go back over with the abandoned coral to deepen that that a little bit and just blend that over that kitsch flamingo a little bit more and then I'll probably do the same with that speckled egg just where it meets the abandoned coral just so that you can see that um, that blend a little bit better oh that's gone on really nice second time second application has gone on really creamy I could feel the difference when I applied it it was really nice so that's um, those guys let's move those and move on to our scattered straw you can get the lid off with one hand <sighs> so I'm just going overlapping some of that um, kitsch flamingo but I think I might bring that down even further to overlap that scattered straw because that scattered straw is beautiful um, that looks really nice so let's go back in with some of that kitsch flamingo and again I'm just making sure that this doesn't move too much so is anybody managing to do anything this Easter um, I know that some things are, some restrictions are easing but it doesn't seem to be too too much of a change the only thing that i know um for any kind of certainty is that i can go to the hairdressers and i am booked in for the 13th um finally to go to the hairdressers um which i'm very very excited about <laughs> um so we're now going in with the twisted citron at the bottom and i think this is going to look so pretty I'm thinking this is going to look so sweet and I'm going to do a bit of a reveal now I think that that's blended really pretty so are we ready for this oh how gorgeous is that it looks so pretty okay I think that's really really sweet so I'm going to just pop that in there because that needs a bit of a clean what did I do with my little uh, baby wipe so um, what I've realized I've done is that I haven't done this in a landscape have I we were going to do it in landscape but my uh, my hearts are the wrong way up now so not to worry <laughs> we can still do it the other way um excuse me Angie says um that she's thinking of having four friends in the garden with blankets and a fire and have a barbecue and a few gyms that sounds really nice um Mahela says those colors are gorgeous Laura Ann loves it Natalie says so pretty Alice says, um, hi, very late, everyone wants maps. Hooray, totally missed the colouring in. 
and Judith um, is all muddled with her days of the week, but she's here now. Well, as long as you're here now, that's fine. We were a bit late getting started because I didn't have my setup organised properly, but we're I think we're I think we're on it now. So, um, so now we've got that done, I can roll up my um, my mat, my silicon mat, and I'll just pop my um, elastic band on it to keep it tidy. Um, Jane says that she's hoping to have an egg hunt in the garden with one of her grandsons. And Lizzie says, evening all, a bit late to the party, had a visitor around for Abby's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Abby. Everybody seems to be having birthdays. So if we're having um, our card base um, here, then this needs to be a little bit smaller. <laughs> so let's take out our dies and I want a little bit of a border because according to our sketch um, we've got a little white border around the edge so I'm going to and I might do a slightly larger border um, so our A6 dies are great for being able to um, come up with the perfect sized base so that would be quite nice. That gives us a nice um, area. Now, if we're going to use this particular die. Oh, I've got one cut out. Look, that's quite handy to see the size. Um, so my thoughts are that we we'll lay this along there or we could lay it this way, couldn't we? And then we can have the second piece like so. So you see how we're, we're changing up that original design. It doesn't have to be exactly as um, the uh, original says. It's just giving us a jumping off point. So I quite like that. Uh, size for the middle portion I think that's a good size um, or we could go one smaller than that which is this one here and do something like this that would be quite nice as well so we've got to remember that we have got our little image to pop on here so if we make sure that we've got enough room for our image, so we could have our, um, our mailbox there and our little, little guy just in front of the mailbox as so, and then maybe a little sentiment that goes over the top there. So I think maybe the one slightly bigger would be the best option. Okay, let's pop that to one side. And we'll pop this one in here. I'd rather do it a little bit bigger and have to cut it down than, um, you know, not have it the right size. Okay. Oh, I know, I hope the snow doesn't come as well, Angie. I mean, how lovely has it been? Have you all had nice weather the last couple of days? Because it's been absolutely gorgeous here in Sheffield. So I really hope that you guys have had the same. So let's see if my die cutting station works that I've got set up. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything is new. Everything's moved around. It's all very weird. <laughs> but uh, hopefully um, this is all going to work perfectly fine so Natalia says she had a barbecue yesterday and it was awesome we didn't have um, a barbecue or anything but we were outside doing a few a few bits um, of work which was nice that we got to do that so I'm just going to pop, oh dear, I've got no power, hang on, oh no, 
bear with me guys with no power to the old diapertine machine oh no why don't you work have i not plugged you in maybe i've not plugged him in Sounds like yeah. Can't find the plug socket. Yeah. <laughs> Is it plugged in? I think so. Oh, not turned on the light there. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. This is why I needed Ant to be here. I'm only good for turning things on. Oh. Yes. Do you mean it that way? Oh, hello. Or did I? <laughs> right, apologies for the noise. We've had there, but that was bound to happen, wasn't it? Um, and Lisa's had snow this morning. Yeah, we've, snow, yeah huh? we've we've got it to all to come. So this is this is very pretty. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so, Annalisa, doesn't is it not always snowing? <laughs> Um, where you are. It feels like it's always much colder than we have it here. So there, that's my um, my little bit of a background. Now I've got to think about what colour I actually want my um, my banner to be um, because I don't want it to be too dark um, and again I'm not quite sure which way around I want it but I think I quite like it at the bottom so that we can have a sentiment at the top. So do I go speckled egg or do we go um, maybe this um, kitsch flamingo or maybe a bit of scattered straw? What do we think? What do we think? Hmm. This is where I need my little swatches, but I've put them in a, I put them in a box somewhere and I can't find them. Let's have a little look. Look, see. I want to keep it quite bright. Um, speckled egg says Natalia. I think the speckled egg might be a good shout. I was thinking of maybe going a little bit deeper and maybe into a bit of peacock feathers as well. So this is my um, my piece of cardstock that we were going to use for that. So um, let me grab my mat again, and we will roll that out and pop that here. And let's do some speckled egg. Thank you. Um, Thank you Natalie and yes I do like a bit of peacock feathers so I'm going to this is my plan I'm going to add my speckled egg all over here now is the is the light fine I know we've only got one light on at the minute I'm going to try that and see if that just stops any shadow on this side um, so that uh, you can see See what that looks like. Is that too bright? Hmm. It might be too bright for me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I think that's too bright. We'll stick with this for now. <laughs> um, so I've got speckled egg looking pretty. And then on the other side, 
I'm going to go with the peacock feathers. Let me know what you guys think about the light and if you think it's bright enough. Um, I'm just testing, testing things out, seeing what we like best. So let's go with some peacock feathers. So I'm using um, our, obviously our super smooth cardstock and this just takes the ink so nicely. Um, and I think that the um, the peacock feathers is really really nice. Um, so I'm going to get ink all over my fingers. It's a bit dark on the left do you think so shall I pop this light back on and see if that helps a little bit I'll just try and lower it a little bit as well and see if you see if you like that <laughs> see if we like that a little bit better um, like I say I do I used to have um, a very big studio well I've still got the big studio light but I obviously um, I haven't brought it up here because it takes up so much space and that feels like that's very bright and I can't see what I'm doing pretty much. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, it just feels like, um, you know, that was just, that was taking up too much space. Um, let me just move that up a little bit. That was too bright. I think let's try it from that point of view. There we go. That might be a bit better. Yeah, so it was blinding me. <laughs> um, too many shadows now. So is that better up there? I think that might be a little bit better. Um, okay, and I'm going to go back in now with my speckled egg and just try and blend those two together. I made for a very nice panel here. which I do really, I like the look of. Right, so I've now got this, this lovely panel, which is half twisted citron and half um, speckled egg. And, and I'm thinking that the, it does go, it does go quite nicely um, but obviously the speckled egg is the right colour for what we used in our background so it is interesting to see whether do we want the darker darker colour with it or do we want the lighter colour and I think the lighter colour is going to be the one um, I do like the, um, the peacock feathers though so we can always use that on a different project Fine, so just spin my um, spin my caddy around. So Annalise is asking about um, domed blenders um, and doesn't know whether to use them for oxides or inks. She loves her blender brushes but uses the blender foam when she wants to be heavy handed. I see. Um, so um, I, I don't know, I've not tried them to be honest with you because obviously I'm a blender brush girl through and through. Um, we have a number of different um, products coming up as well in the blender brush family that I think you're gonna enjoy. So um, I can't really, um, can't really recommend anything else I don't think. <laughs> so let's pop this back. And I need to die cut my panel. And I feel like I might go a little bit, should we go a bit ombre? Or shall I be totally safe? Hmm. I think if we'd gone a little bit ombre at the top, then it might have worked. Um, but let's do it. Let's be brave. Just a touch, touch ombre think um, yes that's a little hint 
a little hint of something that's coming. Right then, let's get to um, using our diagram machine now that it's actually working. Um, after Anthony rescued me. So again, sorry for the noise. tiny bit more echoey in here I think um, than it was perhaps downstairs so again I apologize for that I don't really know how we're going to be able to resolve that um, it might just be something that we have to we have to live with so pop that back in there this panel I can use for something else now one thing that I have realized during this um, this process of cleaning and tidying and reorganizing is that I have lots of little bits of things that I haven't actually used yet <laughs> so um, so yeah so that is something that uh, that I probably need to rectify so we've got the start of our card coming together here based on our our sketch which is really very very cute I think so far so I am going to cut out the centerpiece here because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stamp my um my Ujima what's it <laughs> Ujima what's it um uh my mail uh box directly onto my background I think um, so let's cut this out so I'm happy with how that's going so far so we'll cut this out and then what I might have to do is fussy cut oh that might fit right in there so that I can save more of this cardstock you see this is this is all about saving a bit of cardstock here but why the devil not um, it is good cardstock so I do want to hang on to it so sorry about the noise again Natalia says won't the echo improve once you put more things in the room I well there is a lot of stuff in here already um, don't get me wrong um, just let the noise pass cracky that one wasn't it um so yeah there is quite a lot of stuff in here already um and i am working on uh, a progress video so i have done um a little bit of a, a first day um second day was actually yesterday so um i'm gonna pop that on um i think uh, probably tomorrow now um, and then um, the final reveal, uh, well, there will be a midway reveal, which is the current state of affairs, which is the temporary view. And then um, when, we've, when I've got all of my shelves up and blinds, I do think that some blinds will cut out a little bit of um, a bit of the noise, the echo. Um, so once everything is up on the walls and I've got the blinds up, then I'll do a final, final reveal um, and a final um, show of everything that I've got at proper craft room tour. I did do a video of what my craft room looked like before as well. Um, I didn't go into loads of detail about all the stuff because I'll do that in the full tour. Um, so, uh, so yes, um, I shall uh, do you that um, as part of the, the full tour rather than uh, having done it in that one. So, this is my, um, my little, uh, my little um, mailbox. And I think what I'm gonna do with my mailbox Am I gonna, shall I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking to myself here. 
thinking about what I'm going to do. So we've got our little little guy here is going to stand just in front of it, I think. So let's ink let's ink him up. Angie says that you should have a bits and pieces challenge. That's such a good idea. That is a good idea. Jane, take a note of that one. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that one one day. So I've got all my dyes in the way here. So let me just add some ink to this. And like I said, I do wish that I'd got time to have added some of our some uh, maybe some of the um, is it Nouveau Glimmer Paste um, or Cosmic Shimmer Glimmer Paste to that uh, background because I think that would have looked really stunning. So that's my um, that's my little uh, mailbox. I'll just use the baby wipe for speed to just clean that off. Um, and I'm just going to remove that for now. Um, and I'm going to see if um, I can actually find um, do, 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 do. what might I have done with my masking paper um, because here we go I've got a little little scrap of it here a little bit that you can see I've used before and I'm going to actually just cut this down hi Elizabeth how are you um, so let me see, where will this fit? This doesn't have to be um, a perfect stamp by any stretch because we're just going to use it to cover up the place that we've, um, that we've already stamped. But I'm going to try and do it fairly neatly. Um, just so that I know what I'm cutting can see what I'm cutting out. Pop those in there. So it's just about getting used to the space that I'm in now, isn't it? And getting used to the, you know, the different, the different lighting, the different um, position of everything. <laughs> it's, uh, but I am expecting to have um, another desk in here as well that'll give me a bit more room but i've got um quite a nice setup for storing all of my plates and um and that kind of thing so i'm i'm, I'm pretty excited about the way it's turning out so far so this is my little mailbox here and i'm just cutting out exactly on the the line because um, I want it to cover up all of that mailbox exactly. Um, Claire says she just noticed my nails look like mini eggs. Yay, they do! I do love them. So they're from um, uh, and th I mean the, this one is ruined. It's covered in gloss paint because the uh, I wore gloves, I did wear gloves, but the thumb uh, portion came off during my latest um, bit of painting. So that was a bit annoying, <laughs> but what can you do? There's my bin. Um, so, uh, but yes, it was, um, so I do my own gel, gel um, nails, um, these are not extensions. I have been known to do gel extensions before, um, but I, I couldn't really be bothered to be honest. So for this time, I'm going to get my mat back out again. So had some some real work this mat tonight. Um, so yeah, I just used actually um, some false nails that were in an oval shape that were a bit like actual eggs <laughs> um, because um, I have been just applying gel to my actual nails for the last few occasions 
and I have liked having the shorter nails um, for a while. Um, they are a little bit easier to deal with. So let's place that over, just try and line that up properly so that goes over our little image. And then I'm going to create a bit of a border here and I'm going to create a bit of ground. Um, loving your little mat. Oh, fantastic. I'm so glad. Um, do, 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 do. Um, and Mahela says she misses having gel nails so much. I know it's one of the terrors of, of lockdown that we can't go to the nail salon. We can't have our hair done or our brows done or our eyelashes. It's all, it's all a bit of a a pain isn't it so my back my sky I don't know about making it a traditional color because I don't want it to blend in too much however having said that I do still think it might look quite nice if we do it quite soft so let's go back in with some speckled egg peacock feathers there speckled egg and peacock feathers so I'm going to start with the speckled egg down at the bottom and Lisa says she just got a haircut just in time for lockdown <laughs> that's it you just managed to sneak it in didn't you so I'm now just going to do a very light coverage. Angie says she's got to have very short nails on her right hand now as she's learning to play the guitar. So I had to cut them all off. Well, well done you learning to play the guitar. Have you always wanted to do that? Is this um, a new hobby for lockdown or just um, something that you've always had a hankering to do? It's, but I, when I was very young, um, I did um, have guitar lessons for a very short period of time. I'm not sure what I thought I was trying to achieve because I'm no musician. And that was very evident quite early on. Um, so, yeah, it didn't progress very far. But I bought a guitar and we had... My, my parents paid for lessons for me for a while um, but I also played the clarinet for a little while and I played the, played the recorder and I was terrible, I, I was just terrible at it. I should not have bothered. <laughs> um, my poor mum and dad did actually waste their money on me I have to say. Um, now I feel like I should do a few little splatters in this background um, but I don't want to get them on my floor. In fact, shall I wait until I've done my floor? No. Yeah? No. Yeah. Yes, I will. I'll wait until I've done my floor then I'll splatter the lot. <laughs> um, right, so I'm just going to very carefully feel like my screen is frozen. Why is it frozen? Hmm. Let me come out of it and come back in. Let's try that again. That's better. So if I remove this bit of masking tape very carefully, because this masking tape is quite strong and it does sometimes have a tendency to rip. Um, and then I'm going to pop this back down on here. And then I'm going to go with, um, normally I would go with maybe a grey or something like that, but I'm going to go with Twisted Citron. Oh, I've not put that on very straight. Let me just straighten that back up. I'm going to go in with some Twisted Citron because it matches our background and I might even use some of the scattered straw near the bottom. So... 
Claire says, sounds like my little girl. Dread to think how much we've spent and she still plays like Lister in Red Dwarf. <laughs> oh, I'm just terrible at it. And the thing is, I don't even know, I don't think I even really particularly enjoyed it. I had no aspirations to be, you know, some kind of a famous guitarist or musician. Um, I don't know whether it was something that just people were doing at the time and I just followed suit and I don't know. Um, I think you're encouraged to try stuff like that, aren't you, at school when you're when you're a kid to see where your where your passions and your skills lie. But um yeah, it wasn't for me, I'm afraid. Um but I um you know, there wasn't really, I, I, I always um, really enjoyed art at school. That was where my passion was. But there wasn't anything like this when I was at school. God, if, there were, if there'd been crafting like this, that would have been me done, I'm sure of it. My sister and I, we used to spend hours just drawing things, drawing little characters, funnily enough, colouring them in, funnily enough. Um, and it, yeah, we'd we just we'd write little stories for them, and oh, and then we'd make our parents obviously read them. And um, that's what we were, you know, that's what I was interested in. That's what I love to do. Um, so I don't know why I thought the guitar was going to be for me. So I'm just going to carefully remove that. So now we've got a little bit of ground for our. Um, for our mailbox but before I remove the masking tape I am going to just do um frozen again I'm just gonna do um a little bit of spraying here um that might be a bit too fine so we'll just do a few bigger blobs again I've not properly got my um my equipment around me i don't think that uh, but this i think this has done done the job so let's just let that settle for a few seconds and then i'm just use that paper towel just to mop up any bits and then we've just got some nice soft little bits of texture which is cool happy with that so let's um just wipe our mat down Let's get that clean and pop this again to one side. Laura says she's never had her nails done and she was a first aider for years but you couldn't wear nail polish. Yes, I, I know. So when we ran the tea shop, um, I wasn't able to have my nails done then um, because obviously for ha food hygiene you couldn't have false nails or nail polish or anything like that in case any of it um got into anybody's food nobody wants that do they um and um it was i hated it because i'd always had my nails not done i always did them myself um but i always had nice nails up until then so that i did that was the that was the worst bit about it was not being able to have nice nails again but now i can you know now you have to have your nails manicured for going on tv so um, it gives me an excuse to have it done. Um, Julie says that she used to have keyboard lessons as a youngster um, and you still have a keyboard. Wow. Oh, you're left handed, Angie. That means you're very creative, which we know because you are very creative. <laughs> but um, yeah, my dad's left handed as well. So let's have a look at this. Let's see how this is. This is, um, so this is coming together quite nicely. I'm quite happy with this. Yes, you see how it's, how it's starting to come together a little bit now. So um, now I need to stamp out my little, um, uh, my little, and I've got a little bit of cardstock here so I can stamp out my little, my little critter, my cute little critter that's posting, 
posting his or her letter. So let me get my stamping platform back out. that this all fits on screen. I'm just thinking if there's anything else that we might have in the picture. Um, I don't know if I've made a bit of a smudge on there some, somehow. Um, but I don't know if there's really much room for anything else. The only other thing that there might be room for might be our little, a little bird. Which is very cute, isn't he? I like him. Um, okay, I like it. So, um, okay, making a few decisions in my head there that you couldn't hear because they were all in my head. <laughs> Joe, do you know when the All Occasions Critters will be back in stock? So, they are on order and it shouldn't be very long. Um, I haven't had an actual date confirmed because of the Easter holidays. I do think it's going to be after um, after Easter. Um, but, uh, but yes, they are, like I say, they are on order and been on order for a couple of weeks. So, it doesn't normally take too long for them to come come back in stock so apologies that that went off off screen a little bit but hopefully you can see oh and I've stamped my little um my little bird upside down <laughs> but that doesn't matter because we'll be using we will be using our um dies to cut him out anyway but yes that's good I'm happy with how that's stamped out actually first time um I don't like using my um, my uh, baby wipes on my um, stamps a lot of the time because I think they leave fibres which can really affect them when you use them next time. So I will. My chamois needs a bit of a needs a bit of wetting, needs a rinse. So uh, before I use it again, but uh, I will be doing that so that I can clean them properly with my chamois. So I've now got these little images to colour in and I want to make sure that I'm using the same sort of colour scheme that we've got in our background. Now our little raccoon is going to be grey, um, so um, so that's that's an easy one. But then for our, um, for our mailbox, I think doing that in kind of a shades of pink, um, uh, darker pink like in our colour scheme um, will work really quite well so um, so let's see if we can find a colour match um, now I do have my Copic chart to hand here which is quite good so looking at this I am going to say that and the R43 is looking quite a good shade. So let's see if I can find that. Oh, there she is, look. And there was a 46, which is the stronger red. So um, let's have a look, see if there is a paler colour that might work. Maybe R22 looks like a good shout um, as well. R22 might be a bit salmon-y. So let's do a little test. Yeah, that might be a bit too salmon-y. Mm, not too bad though. Um, but then we're trying to, you see the, the next colour is the R46, which is quite a big jump, I feel. Try this too salmon not pinky enough. Maybe blush is better. Oh, they're very salmon pinks. Where are the where are the brighter pinks? Sorry, bear with me, guys. I'm just testing out some colours. I want more of a the kitsch 
flamingo type colour, don't I? So maybe I'm looking more in the RV area. Maybe the RV13 is more my cup of tea. So um, we've got here, oh, RV14. <gasps> Very bright. RV11. That's a nice colour. We'll keep that to one side. Um, do, 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 do. Hmm. Just trying various pinks here. <laughs> I do quite like that one actually. Right, let's go with that. How are we all anyway after I've just uh, <laughs> spent all that time just colouring, uh, just plain? Um, so I'm going to start with this colour here, which is the RV23, which I think is really pretty. It's quite close to the um, Kitsch Flamingo. So, and I'm going to go with um, just applying this to the whole of the, um, the mailbox. So we're going to go for some quite simple colouring. Um, I feel like that my um, some of the uh, ink has run a little bit with the um, application of some water which is unexpected so I shall uh, may have to go over that with a fine liner afterwards so um, I'm going to possibly leave that bit as a different colour maybe um, I shall see but uh, I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I want to say thank you to everybody who um, joined in our first, very first colouring class as well. Um, that happened on uh, Tuesday, um, which um, was amazing. Um, I really, really enjoyed it so much. Um, I was so nervous it was the first one we did and obviously you guys are paying to um to get some tips and some advice on your coloring and i wanted to do a really good job um so it's um obviously it's a bit nerve-wracking to do that and to do it all live and and hope that the words that come out of my mouth make sense because you know not they don't always <laughs> um so yeah it was it went really really well and I, I really enjoyed it so if any of you guys i know some of you guys that are here did join me um yeah siobhan says she's still coloring carrots um it was just loads of fun to do really was loads of fun so um i'm going to do a little bit of um tip to tip action which we've not done for a while have we so um let me take my lids off. So I'm going to take off the lids of the R43 and the R46 and I'm actually going to, this is this is quite um, quite wet at the moment so I'm just going to be really careful but I'm going to apply the tip of my R43 to my R46 um, and just scribble some of that colour off there to then add into the darker areas that I want to add a bit of shading to. So the colour won't last for long because what you're doing is you're adding the colour to um, the, the nib of the colour that already exists and that will eventually work its way back through. But what we're doing is we're effectively making our own colour here we're making our own mid-tone colour and it means that it's just that little bit less harsh um, and uh, than it would be if we went straight in with that just the darker strong red here so I'm just going to apply that right down at the bottom and let the um, R 43 just blend itself back out so it's just a tiny little bit at the bottom and I'm going to add this darker bit to the inside of the post box as well 
because that bit would be definitely be darker. And probably towards the back. So you can apply um, tip to tip like we talk about and that will colour the end of my, my pen and you can see how strong that colour has come off the back of there. But eventually that colour will drain away and the R43 will take its place and our nib will be clean again. See? Gone. So I can pop that away and then just blend that R43 back out there as well. There we go. So right into the little pool um, I'm going to go with, um, I think, a cool grey, um, what colour have I got here? Cool grey 5, just in there, just to darken that up. And probably will darken that up a little bit more when it's dried back. For this uh, colour here, um, what should we go with? Um, let's have a look at, see if we've got something that is a little similar to speckled egg. Um, what's this here? PG10, which is a cool, cool shadow. No, that feels too pale. PG11 might be the one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, Angie says she love ha loves how her how her carrots turned out. And <laughs> Lucy says, how many carrots are you colouring? Angie got called away by the cat, so miss what was said after your last comment. Not being rude, we'll rewatch tomorrow. No, no problem at all. Cats um, are uh, great at causing distractions, aren't they? <laughs> um, Natalia says, the colouring class was so good. I haven't done my homework yet. Oh, you need to get crack on then. Be cracking on. I don't think I want to do it in that colour now. I've changed my mind. The white looks really quite nice. Um, I'm torn because um, obviously I don't want to overdo anything that we've already got you can be you can pay a bit too much um, attention to your color palette but this crossover that we've got here with the scattered straw um, from the Keach Flamingo gives us this kind of an orangey color and I'm wondering if I can somehow recreate kind of a creamy kind of effect that's that's very nice. That was straight out of the bat. Um, YR31. And, um, oh no, that's not, not at all right. <laughs> um, let's have a look at this one. No, not nearly yellow enough. They're a bit too... Um, I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word is. Let me think with my with my brain. Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. YR82 seems to fit, and apparently I have a YR82. But see, no, that's not right. Um, maybe. I'm going to have to go into the yellow colours and find something that fits there. I went for that one, didn't I? I thought that was no good. Oh, how annoying when you can't find the right colour. Sorry guys, this is most annoying for you, isn't it? I'm just messing around. 
pale lemon. Hmm. Right, let's go with it. I'm going to go with pale lemon. Just going to more or less bleach that out to nothing really just so that there's a bit of color in there but I'm really not um, not fussed with it being too too much color really quite like the fact that it was white um, so I'm more or less taking it back to that but just adding a little bit of bit of depth with the um, with a bit of bit of that yellow, and we'll see what that dries back at um, and what that looks like when it dries. Um, it's amazing how many, no matter how many pens you own, there is never the colour you want. Jane, you're absolutely right, <laughs> and a lot of it is that I am so indecisive, um, particularly when I'm a bit tired which I am now, I have to admit, um, you know, it's uh, been a very long couple of days, so I am a little bit beat and I'll, I will be, I will confess to, I think pretty much every part of me aches, <laughs> um, it really, really does. So, moving on to our little raccoon now. So our little raccoon, super, super cute guy, um, he is going to be in greys and I'm going to use the neutral greys. I do like using the neutral greys for um, for some of my critters. So um, let's try let's try these colours um, and oh wrong end um, and let's give him a bit of uh, colour to his eyes and. Um, around his eyes so this is the the bit that makes him look like he's a little bandit now do raccoons have gray noses or black noses or would he have a pink nose i feel like he would probably have a black nose but um you know i could be terribly wrong I wish I'd done his tip, the tip of his tail in a darker colour, so I'm going to fake, fake it. <laughs> um, so let's add a bit more shading to these areas, but I'm not going to go right over his eyes because I don't want it to be so dark that uh, we can't see those eyes. So this is where I'm just going to apply the depth um, and the shadow to just the the uh, just portions of um his features so that uh, we don't lose them so just adding a little bit of uh, shading to um his feet just under his body and around his tail and then i'm going to go back over that with the m3 black nose for a raccoon right Excellent. Thank you very much for that, Lucy, <laughs> for confirming for me. So, um, let's just get all of these coloured and just blend in that darker shade. Um, into the centre here of his tail and just being really as careful as I can not to go over the lines but I must admit my eyesight's getting a bit blurry getting tired eyes so but don't worry if you do go over any of these lines um my um tea 
the N7 um, is quite juicy. So I had been, I had heard a tip that if you take off the other end of your pen, it releases a bit of pressure, and that means it'll not just suddenly go blip all over your page. So I'm going to try it because it has done that to me, and that was quite upsetting <laughs> because the N. Uh, seven is quite dark um, so you don't really want that to go all over your page it's quite tough to get it back out again um, so let's just do a little bit of blending that out and same there Go and then I shall use again. Your copy constructor told you that as well, Angie. Oh, there you go. And Google told Lucy. <laughs> there you go. Um, Google told Lucy about the raccoons. I'm presuming that's what you mean. <laughs> um, and uh, just blend that back out. So that's looking quite cute. I will use the N7 on that nose because apparently Google, that Google has told us that they do have black noses. So I have bled a little bit around the tail but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I am going to do some blending around his body. Now in my warped little mind um, the white fur isn't necessarily going to be the same shade of grey that the rest of his body is. So I'm going to use um, a warmer grey to add some shading elsewhere because I feel that that, I don't know, his, his body, his white fur and his, his body would be a bit of a warmer shade. And again, this, this is just my interpretation of how... I want to colour colour this guy in. Yours may be very different, and that's that's cool too. Um, you know, it it's it is how you want to colour colour the image. It isn't about how I want to colour it. So I do actually have um, the warm zero shade, which is quite good for blending that that bit out and also um, I might be able to push some of that um, darker grey colour out using this as well. Yeah that seems to have worked quite well. So let's see um, I'm going to do his little letter in the same colours of pink that we used previously um, because I think that that would go really nicely. Um, so I think that I do want it to be quite pale. So um, I'm going to go a bit of a, a, I guess, a couple of shades lighter than we've done the, the mailbox, but still in that same kind of territory so that it still all matches really well. So this is a really nice match for that Kitsch Flamingo actually, the RV10. Um, and then I'm going to add just a bit of shading underneath the, the flap there and then around the bottom and blend that out. I do love these uh, these colours uh, that we've chosen or that Pinterest chose for me. Um, 
But like I say, sometimes when you're in that kind of a mood and you're not quite sure what you want to do, you know you want to craft something, but you don't really know where to start. Um, I feel like this is a really good way to, to deal with that because um, it means part of the thinking is, is out of it. You, you're not having to do that thinking. Um, somebody else is going to do that for you. So for this guy... I want to do um, that kind of yellowy um, colour that we did earlier for his little um, for his um, little message. So I'm going to use that um, to um, to add a bit of colour, um, and then we have this kind of greeny shade that will just give us that little bit of a an ombre look to it um, which I think is kind of fun um, and then what I can do is I can give him a bit of a brighter coloured beak then so that there's a bit of a, a distinction for his beak and for his body I don't like to add too many different colours into a scheme. So I think we'll do him in the warm grey. So I'm going to add... Um, I mean, I could have made him like a... Maybe a bluebird or... But because we've got the, the quite an intense blue background, I don't want to add... Like I say, you don't want it... You want him to stand out a bit, don't you? So, and I think the warm grey, because it's quite um, a soft grey, it's not going to detract from the rest of the images. But it makes him distinct from our raccoon. Well, that's the intention anyway. Because he's quite a small image, um, I'm just going to be really careful about adding too much shading. Um, and just adding a bit too much colour because obviously there's not a lot of room for it to move around but if I'm careful I should be able to still get that that feeling of of depth um, just by adding a few little little lines here and there do think that maybe I need to just add a little bit more depth in some areas. I think that that's that's our little uh, little bird complete. So where are we up to? Let's put some of these pens away, and then let's get these guys cut out. So we do have. Um, the coordinating dies for this set uh, so I'm going to cut those out and then I need to start thinking about a sentiment don't I oh I don't need to cut that out because we've already stamped that it's these little guys we need to cut out so this is my little bird let's um, figure out how do I do him there he is <laughs> figure out which way he went then so um Try not to get my head in the shot, um, but I don't want him not to be lined up right. I don't want to chop his legs off, do we? So I'll put that on there. And then our little raccoon. Like for some reason I can't I can't line them up upside down and I have to turn him round. <laughs> um, okay, so Let's line that one up there. So I'm actually going to probably going to be working most of Easter because Ant's working all Easter. Um, so it just makes sense. But um, he is off then for a few days after Easter. So uh, I think that's probably when we will have a little bit of time off which will be nice. Right then, sorry for the noise that's about to occur. Okay, here are our little guys. Okie 
dokey. Let's see. Let's see if we lined him up correctly. Oh yeah, we did. He's super cute. And then a little raccoon. Just take that off. And that one. Yay. And there he is. So, let's see. Let's try and put these back on here properly so I don't lose them. So, this is looking good. This is very, very sweet. So, let's have a look at our construction and see where we might have a sentiment. So I've got my background and I've got my, my little scene there and we've got our banner that's going to stick out of the bottom just there. Ooh. Yep, so that one's going to sit just up there. Then our little little guy is going to sit there and his little friend can sit on top of there. So sentiment wise we've got lots of nice sentiments that we could use so I've got um, sending smiles or sending paper hugs thinking of you um, or happy mail We've got made with love, which I do think would be nice on the on the side of there. Um, what do we think? Um, there is a little smudge there. We might be able to move him up so that he covers the smudge. <laughs> um, so let's have a think. We could do the sending. smiles which would be kind of cute or the sending paper hugs so I'm thinking of doing maybe the sending paper hugs um, across there um, what do we think any any ideas any suggestions um, or we could do the sending smiles that's quite cute isn't it just like that and then he can just sit there and cover my smudge my smudge up yeah quite like I do quite like that I think that looks quite sweet okay now on our original sketch there were some hearts so we'll have a little think about whether we want to add those um, but um, for the moment, I'm, I'm liking this, but I need to add this sentiment. So I'm going to add my sentiment uh, with some Versamark. So, let me find my tool. Not Versamark, Versafine. Slimmy. Right, so let's pop this back in here. I'm going to add my magnets so that it doesn't move around. I don't need my little critters on there, but they can stay there for the minute so that I know that I'm lining things up properly. And this is where my nails get stuck to the sentiment. Sorry if my head's in view, hopefully it's not. I don't think it is actually with this new camera setup, which is quite good. So I'll just make sure they're stuck down and look straight and then I've got my Versafine um, I can't see any new comments so I'm hoping that everybody is uh, is okay out there and just refresh and um, to make sure that everything's still working but we're all plugged in and all is good <laughs> um, Claire says so cute thank you I think it's turning out quite well to say we didn't have a single clue what we were going to do. So I'll just move this over so 
so you guys can see and I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure try and get a good oh yes very nice very very nice and get a fresh um, baby wipe I think just to make sure we can clean that off properly like I say I'm not a fan really of using the baby wipes because they can leave little fibres that can mean that your um, your stamping doesn't come out so well every time but sometimes you know in an emergency it's what we have to do isn't it so it's what I'm doing at the moment so we've now got pretty much everything we need to be able to put our card together so that's what I'm gonna do I haven't drunk any of Aunt's tea this is very naughty sorry guys just had to have a little drink there all this talking makes me thirsty Laura Ann says that she's just busy drawing lines in her journal, so focusing on keeping it straight but enjoying the card and it's looking fab. Oh, thank you, Laura. Sometimes when you go, go quiet, I don't know whether I'm on my own or not, so I have to just check. <laughs> right, so let's put this together. So I'm going to use some liquid glue for the first couple of layers. Um, now then, where have I got a glue that's actually open and works? Um, let's try this bad boy. <laughs> see if this one's gonna operate I haven't actually used any of these recently I don't think but I do have my special little pin implement oh she says that's uh, the only thing with nails is that impossible to pick things up sometimes isn't it so let's try and uh, unclog now that one looks like that one's very clogged oh dear that one's not going to work for me then I shall have to I've done a, a good bit of uh, maintenance on some of these but it looks like um I failed on some occasions this one's working now so that's good Angie says she's still here but just had to move the tablet so the foster cat could lay on your lap oh you are so lovely that's exactly what I do though um Angie the the cat always gets the comfy spot even if it means that I have to be uncomfortable, the cat will be comfortable. Um, we've been a bit worried about Rosie today because uh, she's been she's been in bed literally all day, which is not like her at all. She loves to be out adventuring, um, but I think she um, she possibly had a bit of a poorly tummy um, that made her a little unwell bless her so I just need to make sure that I pop this in the right place I love that you're all just kind of quietly watching and just hanging out with me which is really cute it's really cool so pop that on there so yeah she's been literally been in bed all day but she was out adventuring all day yesterday because the weather was nice so I have a feeling that she probably came across something that uh, has made her a little bit unwell. So I'd quite like to pop this up onto some foam pads. Um, I don't want them to be too, um, too deep ones because we are going to add a bit of um, a bit of dimension to um, our little critters as well. So I'm just thinking about what I've got that's not too too deep, and I think these are these are quite good because they're only about maybe a, um, a mil and a half in depth. 
um, but they are smaller so it's going to take me a little while to build this up so we'll just add a few of these on the back and I, I want it to be fully covered because I don't want it to um, sag at all especially as it's going to be covering this banner here so I'd be really interested to know from you guys how you um, think that the setup tonight has been has it been okay has the sound been okay has the um the visual been okay um the lighting being okay because obviously this is this is a new arrangement for me i found it quite comfortable um which is nice um but obviously it needs to be good for you guys as well so um as viewers so um yeah i'd be be keen to know how you guys feel it's going obviously it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to everything um but uh, i'm sure i'll get there um and uh, as i as as i work um in uh, in here a little bit more often obviously i will figure out what works and what doesn't a little bit more so let me just line that up over the top okay I think that was that's in the right spot isn't it and then this little guy can sit just here and he just about covers up that little smudge that I, that came from somewhere. Lighting looks good, sound seems fine, but Gem and I seem louder tonight. Yeah, it's very loud, isn't it? I don't really know what to do about that unless I put it in a box <laughs> um, or something um, along those lines. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a tough one that one. I don't really know quite what to do about that. Um, now then, have I got some of our little, little, teeny, tiny, um, little squares? They're quite deep though, aren't they? So I might just use, cut one of these down, because we don't want him to be higher than the, uh, the raccoon, do we? So I've just got a few of these, um, little, um, squares that are already cut down that I can use and just add those in there and then try and get the backing off with my with my nails <laughs> they look good but they're a bit of a pain sometimes so we've got our little bird and then our little raccoon the light is casting quite a bit of shadow on your right hand which blocks what you're doing at times mm, I did wonder if that was the case so that's um, I wonder how to, to uh, eradicate that then I will definitely have a little think about that for next time thank you guys um, it is all a work in progress <laughs> the second light cast too much shadow but other than that all good so if i turn this ladder this ladder this <laughs> this light out is it too dark is that too dark for you guys it seems dark for me in here now so in terms of me being able to see what i'm doing um, it seems much darker, but I can see it's not casting as much shadow. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, shall see what you guys have to say. Let me know. Is the is it better now, or was it better before? 
That's too big. Cut that down. Yeah, I feel like there's more shadow now. I'm just playing around with the lighting here, aren't we? And just seeing what's what's good and what's not. I'll give you guys a chance to tell me what you think about this lighting situation and then I'll both are fine. This looks better. Right, okay. So if that looks better to you guys, then that's what we'll go with. Random thought, would it be quiet if I put a towel under it? That's an interesting idea, Laura. I shall definitely give that a try. Maybe it would. It's just so, it's just a very loud machine, I don't know. Siobhan says there's more shadow now. It's, it's just so difficult to know what to do for them to be right. Right, I've put my light back on. And I'm going to see how that changes the view. So, um, we'll see how that, uh, that works for us for a little while. Like I say, it is a bit better for me. It seemed a little bit dark um, for me crafting without this light, this second light on. So um, I think maybe I might need another light, maybe um, in front of me um, or even behind me to get rid of this shadow. So, um, so this is looking really, really cute. I am really happy with this. Now, like I say, on the original sketch, it does have these uh, these hearts here so instead of hearts um i'm thinking that maybe some little um areas here would look quite cute um some down there i think this is this is probably the best space for it um so what could we use now i do have let's have a look my, I've got a little stash here of some um, Lucy's um, little sprinkles, which are very cute, and they are in the shape of love hearts. So, shall we see if any of them will match our colour scheme? Um, we've got some yellow. Um, let's have a look. We've got yellow. They're quite small though, aren't they? Maybe they need to be bigger. Maybe they, you know, maybe in this size is, is sound. Got a bit of an orange. We've got a couple of different pinks. I'll pick them up with my nails. And we've got kind of a um, a minty green colour. Judith says, um, I'm needing to be off to bed night all. Thanks, Joe. You're very, very welcome. Thank you for joining joining in. Um, it's been lovely to have you. Um, so, they are very sweet, aren't they? Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> um, so, we've got... Um, I don't think the orange really goes. That's probably um, fairly close. And then we've got the brighter pink, which is quite, quite similar. I know they're not a perfect match, but they might look quite sweet there. What do we think? They look quite cute, don't they? Um, or we could do them down here. That one's quite a big one, that one. And that one's a really thin one. How funny. So these are very, very cute. Um, yeah, I think I might go with the three there. Um, I think that looks really sweet. 
so I'm going to have a devil of a time trying to gather those ones up now so I'll, I'll save that for later um, I think um, but you could use you know any sort of embellishment there I guess um, so I'm going to use um, some of my um, this is uh, go on what is it it's called glossy accents that's it oh, could not think of it for the, for the moment and where is my little um, sticky picky up tool there it is my quick sticks so let me just move our sketch out of the way for a second and pick up that other little heart that I was about to lose so let's have a go at I'm just going to test um, a bit of my glossy accents make sure it's coming out okay and then I'm going to add one heart just oh, to there and one heart just there I like little little heart shaped traffic lights. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll just um, give that time to a deer. I think they're about stuck down, which is great. And um, I do think that the um, the background is looking really really nice. Um, and I'd be tempted, really tempted, to add some uh, clear drops maybe on there. Um, could it even do that with my glossy accents actually, but I don't, I can't see any of my, my drops anywhere, um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I can see coloured drops, but none of my clear drops. Right, what are these down here? Let me have a look. They're glitter drops. Are these these are crystal drops? It dries clear. I bet this doesn't come out. It's been under there. It's been in. It's uh, been not being used for forever. Oh, it does. That's exciting. So I'm just going to add a few of these onto my background there just as an extra bit of something probably didn't need it but just I just liked the idea of it but yeah I quite like that so if you find that your drops are a little bit peaky, and I've not used drops for ages, just giving it a little tap, quite firm with it, that'll just help them drop a little bit. And then the final little touches, which you know I love to do, um, are to add some white highlights to everything. So I'm just going to twist this around so that I can um, add my highlights along there and I'll just add a little bit more there and a couple of dots. I always like to add a few dots. Uh, I don't know why. I just think it just breaks up the line a little. And you can add as many as you like, wherever you like. It's entirely up to you. Don't go too mad because you don't want them to look stripy, but I do think that um, they do add a little bit of something. 
Um, there we go. So uh, then I just need to add some of the black glaze and I'm just going to test that on a little bit of cardstock first to his, to his hat, to his eyes, if I can speak. And then I am going to go over that nose just to give it a bit of gloss. And there we go. That's our card complete, I think, in our new, new craft space, <laughs> um, which seemed to work quite well, I think, um, considering I literally set it up today <laughs> and uh, it was all a little bit lastminute.com, but, um, but yeah, I am really happy with that. Um, so if we go back to our sketch and just check, check how well we've done here and um, pop that away. So you can see that we've used, um, we've used our banner, but we popped it in a different place. Let me, let me see if I can get these both in shot at the same time. I might have to slot that under there, there we go. We've got um, the rectangle shape over the top of our banner. And then we've um, adhered to the challenge, which is a cute critter. And we've got three hearts that we've positioned just there as well. So, um, and then in terms of the colour scheme that we wanted to, to use, um, I think we've matched that pretty well as well. I think we've done a pretty good job of using these really sweet little um, little egg um, themed uh, colours um, that are very much like my very own mini egg fingernails. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually really surprised myself <laughs> um, that I managed to, um, to do that, uh, given that, like I said, when I came in here, I'd not thought about it at all and I wasn't really sure um, quite where I was going to get my crafty mojo from. But I do think that having the sketch as a jumping off point has helped me massively. And also having had the colour scheme to work from really helped me as well. So um, so there you go, that's today's card. Thank you so much for watching tonight and for bearing with my technical issues and um, the noise of my um, my Gemini. I shall have to see if we can find a way of maybe muting my muting me so that you don't have to listen to that in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's worked out pretty well um, considering. <laughs> so thanks again for sticking with me. Um, obviously, if, uh, if you've uh, not been able to watch it all, then the replay um, will be available straight after this. And I will also upload it to YouTube tomorrow. Um, and look out for some pictures, um, some nice pictures tomorrow as well of the finished card. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Have a wonderful Easter. Um, if I don't see you before, um, please do take part in the challenge. Check out the post um, on our blog and on Facebook that Jane's popped on there. Um, that will tell you all about how you can enter and the fabulous prizes that you can win. Um, so I'd love it if you guys could take part. And we'll see you next Thursday for another Facebook Live. See you soon, guys. Thanks again. Bye. <laughs> Night, lovely tea timers.